Hello, we are continuing our series of uh, leadership in times of crisis. And I'm absolutely delighted to welcome today Andriy Zimbal, who is the uh, managing partner of KPMG in Ukraine and um, a board member and the treasurer of the American uh, Chamber of Commerce in Ukraine. Andriy, it is good to see you. How are you doing? Good, good, Andy. Thank you. And yourself? Doing good, doing good. So it's like day 51 and we are uh, still uh, in quarantine, sat at home. But we're, we're hearing that the government is trying to introduce some measures to start um, uh, the uh, opening up uh, parts of the, the economy. So, I mean, for you as a professional services firm, I mean, what have you seen over the last 50 days? What, what's really changed in your business and in your client's business? Hmm. Yeah, thank you, India. Uh, well, uh, right from the start of um, uh, this pandemic in mid-March, uh, our response has followed uh, on three key things, key, you know, three pillars. Uh, first is how to support and protect our people, uh, how to take care of our clients and uh, of our business. So first, to protect our people, we at KPMG moved uh, to remote working. Uh, so vast majority of our people are working from home now. Um, to do our work, uh, you know, most of our prof professionals, we just need uh, a computer, basically. Uh, so remote work uh, has not been a new format for us. We've been practicing this for several years. But uh, in reality, I can say that it turned out to be much uh, you know, easier and much more efficient than many of our people uh, thought uh, of this, uh, you know, remote format of working uh, before. Talking about our clients, they need us, um, you know, more than ever. Uh, now is uh, really an important time uh, to build uh, on our long-standing relationships that we have with them. It is time to make sure we keep in touch with our clients and uh, do what we can uh, to help them in the best way we can. So we're really focusing on that, uh, on um, connecting with our clients. So for example, we're doing much more webinars, uh, you know, online uh, trainings, online events that we did before so that we uh, during these times we also can still share our uh, expertise and help our clients to address challenges uh, that they have at the moment okay well I, I, I had a chance to take part in one of the webinars uh, two weeks ago and I thought it's truly excellent so I thought that, that was very very helpful but in, in, great. like um, the the clients the needs I mean what, what, what are the clients looking at most now I mean is it like um, strategy consulting how they're going to come out of this crisis or is it still, you know, a lot of tax and um, auditing advice? I mean, what, what, what areas are you seeing that, um, that there is more interest in? Well, I would say as, as in a typical crisis, the first thing that the clients need help is with, uh, is, uh, you, know, you know, help with the negotiation, restructuring with the lenders because that's what a lot of companies uh, have difficulties uh, uh, with uh, for obvious reasons but also um, you know um, advice with ongoing changes in regulation uh, tax regime that's also um, you know is very 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 topical a lot of clients are looking for support with that as well okay but th this new way of working where you know we're all sat at home especially pro for professional services do, do you think this is Will be a new norm. Do you think that more professional services, um, you know, people, uh, employees, will be sitting at home, or do you think that there, there, will, there will be a time when everyone still comes back to the office to, to um, as we were, you know, three months ago? Well, I think that's, um, you know, really an opportunity um, because when we go back, let's say, to normal, still, uh, I think working uh, remotely to rethinking how uh, we can, um, you know, work more efficiently, how we can uh, work better, I think is really, really a big thing. Uh, on one thing, it can help to uh, reduce the use of uh, office space, and that's, uh, you know, um, uh, optimization of uh, your expenses. On the other hand, and for us as a professional services firm, I think it's a really big one. I think it can really help people to find better, you know, work, personal life balance um, uh, so that we people can do work, more work from home. Uh, a lot of people enjoy that. I would say um, the inherent limitation and the here has to be a balance because I think then with, when is too much work is done from home, i.e. as now, we really, you know, miss on, uh, you know, personal touch, uh, connecting with people, uh, you know, personal events. Online form like video, you know, can 
to a big extent replace that uh, but still i think some some personal connections some personal meetings uh still would still be needed however it would still be I think uh, this remote working can still be far more uh, and, and far bigger thing than we had had before. Just uh, for, for comparison, um, and before, as I said, we've been practicing this for, for several years, but before the typical remote working was something like uh, one day per week. Yeah, one day per week. Now I think it can be the other way around. You know, it's like one day in the office and four day uh, remotely uh, in the normal circumstances, that kind of. Ah, that, that's fascinating. Yeah, I think that there was a stigma initially when, when people said they were working for, from home. Uh, people said, well, hang on, how, how are you working from home? You know, what are you doing? But I think now we, we're all pretty much uh, convinced ourselves that sometimes working from home is actually doing more hours than, um, uh, than sitting in, in, in the office. But in terms of like um, sort of opportunities going forward, I mean, what, what, what do you see in uh, I mean, which sectors or, you know, clients that you're hearing, I mean, what, what are the, the opportunities that are going to come up in Ukraine over the next three, six, 12, 18 months? Well, uh, I think uh, obviously, as everywhere in the world, uh, you know, uh, online, um, you know, remote, uh, working things remotely, doing things over the internet, uh, I think is really, a, a really big thing. Uh, but for us, uh, you know, as a professional services firm, we have, uh, you know, various service offerings uh, to help our clients to navigate, you know, through these uh, difficult times. We also help clients with, um, you know, IT consulting, with cyber uh, security. So I would think that, um, you know, cyber is really not a big thing uh, at the moment on people's mind. But you really cannot, uh, you know, properly do, um, you know, online things if, if you don't have, you know, proper cybersecurity um, yeah. under the control. So that, I think, is, uh, can also be a big yeah. thing. The, the, this series of videos that we're doing, um, um, it's all about leadership in uh, times of crisis. I mean, for you, what, what are you seeing in terms of leadership in times of crisis? What are you seeing in, in your people, in, in, you know, clients, in yourself? And what, what, what is this leadership? Mm. Well, I think there are several things. Uh, first, uh, I think you have to be, uh, you know, really agile, uh, flexible, and uh, quick in decision making, so that you can respond to emerging uh, challenges and situations that can change, you know, by the day essentially. But at the same time, and I, I think it's really important, you also need to be, uh, you know, forward-looking. You know, keep long-term perspective. So you have to balance uh, what are you doing today, your short-term actions, uh, you know, with longer-term impact. I think it's really important to balance the two and to keep uh, thinking about uh, longer term impact. But also, I would say thirdly, uh, last but not the least, um, they also have to be open minded, you know, always ask yourself a question of what we can do differently. Uh, you have to embrace trying doing new things, you know, new technologies, uh, new ways of doing things, and encourage your team to do so as well. So, for example, we talked about, you know, switching the, to this uh, remote working. But I can tell you that initially, back in, um, you know, mid-March, and uh, that's, it feels like ages now uh, away, but uh, then a lot of people had resistance uh, doing this, uh, saying, look, it's not efficient and it's not really going to work. We're going to miss, um, you know, on our commitments to serving clients, etc." So I literally had to spend a week in the office, you know, encouraging and challenging people, you know, why are you are in the office? Um, you know, can you do your work uh, remotely? Is a real necessity for you uh, being in the office? And then gradually people, um, you know, although fairly quickly realize that they can do this. And I would say over the course of this week, you know, a number of people in the office dropped uh, uh, significantly. So that kind of things I think leaders also need to do, you know, um, you know, challenge things, ask different uh, difficult sure. questions so that they can move forward. Brilliant. And a f final question. What, what, is, what is your one message to the members of the American Chamber of Commerce in Ukraine? Well, my, my message is that, um, well, I, I would say let's all remember and let's, um, uh, let's remember that every crisis uh, has an end. Uh, there will be recovery and a growth, after, a growth after that. And we will be, you know, stronger and uh, smarter. And one thing that I think will change is uh, uh, changing in the mindset. 
in the mindset of people. Um, I would say uh, unpredictable, uh, you know, low probability, but high impact events like this one. It could be again, I don't know, pandemic outbreak. It could be severe weather event due to climate change. There could be all sorts of unforeseen events uh, in the future and we have to be prepared for that. So that realization, this mindset change will make us stronger and more resilient. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you, Andre Simbel, a managing partner at um, KPMG, a board member of the American Chamber of Commerce in Ukraine and treasurer of the American Chamber of Commerce here in Ukraine. Thank you for all your leadership. Thank you for all your support, everything you do for the, um, the AmCham. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, regards to all the team, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you.